vacuum cleaner will need to be assembled. Firstly, you will need to unpack the machine to get started. Fit the handle, hose assembly and cable restraint and wind cable onto cable hooks. The machine is now ready for use. Plug the machine into a safe power supply. Switch on with the green button located on the front of the machine. Press foot pedal to release handle and turn on brush motor. When using the machine, try to move your body rather than just using arm movements to reduce fatigue. Adjust setting for carpet type. The green or red light indicates the correct or incorrect setting. If the red light is illuminated, raise the height of the roller. When the red light on the front of the machine is illuminated, this indicates that the vacuum bag is full and needs replacing. For awkward places and high level, remove the extension tube from the machine and attach either the crevice tool or upholstery nozzle situated at the rear of the machine. Remove bag door. Remove full bag by releasing the red catch. Pull down and away. Seal the top of the bag with the sealing flap and dispose of. Insert the new bag onto the bag inlet and place card behind red catch. Motor protection filter, located underneath the vacuum bag. Slide out. Split the frame and either clean or replace. Slide back in. Exhaust microfilter located under the motor protection filter. Remove by releasing the red catch and grey cover. Replace with new filter. Replace grey cover and snap back in place with red catch. Brush roller replacement. Lay the machine on its left side. Slide the grey cover upwards and off the base. Grasp the bristles of the roller and slide out to the right. Remove brush support from roller. Refit the brush support. Slide in new roller, making sure you feed in the end with a white dot first and push onto the drive. Slide grey cover back on. If the machine loses suction and the bag full indicator is illuminated, but the bag is not full, you may have a blockage. Starting at the top, remove the hose assembly from the extension tube. Look through for any blockages. Turn the machine on and check the suction at the end of the hose. If there is no suction, the blockage is in the hose. This can usually be cleared by extending the hose while the machine is turned on, or locating the blockage by removing the vacuum bag. Finally, remove the brush roller cover by releasing the three red catches and check for blockages. Making sure you replace the brush roller cover correctly by feeding it into the base from the front. The machine is fitted with an overload circuit, which will shut off the brush motor and the red light will illuminate if there is a problem. This could be debris hindering the brush motor or the height setting. When the fault is corrected, turn the switch off, wait for a moment, then turn back on. The machine can also be used for carpet cleaning using a dry carpet cleaning compound. Remove the brush roller cover as shown. Replace the red channel cover with the converter. Replace the brush roller cover. Sprinkle carpet cleaning compound on the dirty carpet. Agitate by running over the compound with the vacuum. Leave to dry for approximately 30 minutes. Refit the red channel cover.
vacuum residue from the carpet.